Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I know this been a minute. It's been a minute. It's like I did a bunch of um, YouTubes and then I didn't post them and I was just uh, getting some downloads and some new information for myself and um, and then um, man I got a great like uh, hit from um, one of Bobby Hemmett's uh, YouTubes and um, so what I've done is the people that I'm listening to now I'm gonna go through I was just thinking about it this morning um, because I've enjoyed the people I've listened to and then there's some people that I just want to share with you all so that um, you all can listen to them and possibly you know get get some understanding of your own personal journey um, it's not so much that what they're saying is gonna be important to you is being I call that frequency I just like thinking about the frequency and like um, I love the water I'm actually gonna learn how to surf um, my uh, younger sister had me out there years ago body surfing we were way out I've said that like several times because it was crazy <laughs> um, so but I did enjoy the body surfing just scared to be so far out from land with nothing to hang on to but your body um and we did get caught in the undertow um so uh anyway um and then i love the boogie board um more the boogie board when my girls were really really young um and then um stand up paddle board you know man i would be doing my lives from the stand up paddle board actually working on that um love is working on um finding us a place to live based on the things that I love which I love about that the place we live now he got because it's um the turnaround from the beach is the training for the half marathon and then of course the beach <laughs> I love the beach and uh then everything is here you know so I do enjoy that um at the same time uh stand up paddle board is on my list too so which he knows which he's he was looking for that too so get all the athletic things that I love to do and here you go girl now go sit down stop bothering me <laughs> it's so funny I sit right up under him he's like girl <laughs> it's it's funny in two ways because mm, yeah that's some healing that took place <laughs> I'm just saying over and overall not specific to him just overall and understanding how to exist as myself and enjoy another person you know like enjoy without putting that person into a headlock or like I used to tell somebody I'm like it's like you're holding one of those rabbits and you're rubbing it and rubbing it but you're squeezing it you know and his ears and you like doing like this and his feet are like <laughs> it's trying to get away from your ass and you have it in a death grip it's like no it's like if your path is with that person is with that person and it may be a series of in and out with that person and it's like for me um like i said the closer it is the home you know then that's where my challenge is and um i just it's uh, I, I say it's a work in progress um now it's more like just a conversation. Whenever I get too caught up, it's like the spirit of, you know, chime in and be like, oh, that's what we're doing? <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, that's what we're doing because that's how I'm feeling. It's like, oh, that's how you're feeling? Like, is that in perspective? You know what I'm saying? Like your own internal check of yourself. It's like okay to have feelings and different things like that. At the same time, it's like I'm learning new stuff or I'm understanding myself in a different way separate from how I was indoctrinated that's more like a better way man sometimes I wish I didn't even speak English like it was another language <laughs> you know um did anybody the Mork and Mindy show I'm thinking about that the Mork and Mindy show did anybody remember that from way back and it's like just having your own language you know and now I'm like seeing where 
my middle daughter had totally her own language and it's like man and she really had her own language and my oldest daughter understood it and it's like what if we would have wrote that down you know we would have wrote that down then man we could be on our way and i know if you go to instagram at wise w-i-s-e royal dot royalty um amina l is there and she talks about that she talks about um creating her own language and um uh i think it includes symbols and different things like that just having your own way of communicating and stuff like that and um she showed us her her notebooks and stuff like that with a bunch of stuff written in it so um it's just because it's like i like to share with you all and share my journey and as well as just get it outside of myself you know just talking my own journey and um sharing that way and just knowing that you know just hearing that someone else is on a journey helps sometimes when you get to those stuck places or you get to those doubt places and you're like you know what let me just push in or your spirit will just jump quicken and just like I'm gonna jump in and help this person out you know and I know that all is self so when I say everything except for mama universe I'm not there yet (laughs) like I can't even comprehend mama universe like um, EGG my eighth grandmother yeah she's my ancestor my eighth grandmother I could I could see her as my eighth grandmother um, just like I see my great grandmother, great great grandmother, all that. Um, however, Mama Universe, mm. <laughs> that just seems so big, so so something else. So, um, however, everything else is internal, and so when I externalize it, it's like just having a conversation with a friend. It's not even anything like um, you know. Like, I believe there's something outside of myself. It's all me. You know, even when I'm saying when Spirit said, you know, it's just like, you know, it's all me. It's all me. So, and there's nothing wrong with putting things in a way that suits you, you know. Um, Man, I'm just living a total different life. (laughs) I'm enjoying living a total different life. I just got this one piece to put in place where, like I was saying, just working for myself a hundred percent and being on my own timeline like now what I want to do is do this live then go take a shower um, get something to eat and then head over to the swimming pool and just be in the swimming pool and then read and take a nap and stuff and then get up and then do some spiritual work and my hours like I'm up at three o'clock in the morning and if I got up at three o'clock in the morning naturally and started my day, my day would get going, you know. However, it's nothing to do until, you know, I go start working out at either, you know, 5 a.m. is when I start working out or a little bit before 5 a.m., you know. Um, That's just the world that we live in um, right now, uh, you know, where um, my husband's not going to let me be out the house. And I'm not going to disturb him because if I want something, he will just give it to me. And it's like he would be up at 3 in the morning at the gym, take me to the gym, sitting in the car till I'm done, like that kind of stuff. And it's like, no, no. I mean, it's like having someone who loves you and cares about you like that and nurtures you like that. And it's like it turns into a respect. It turns into where even on days that I would be slacking on um, working on myself or understanding myself because it would rope him in, it's like, nah, man. I mean, I may still have work to do. However, I'm not going to abuse that privilege. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so comforting to have someone who loves you, you know, that, um, that deeply. And it's a big responsibility to have someone like that. So I'm grateful on that side and happy on my side. So um, anyway, um, however, you know, being up at three in the morning um, and I have it in my mind. I mean, I've had it in my mind for it has to be five years more, something like that. It's been a while. It's been a while, maybe 2017. Yeah, 2017. And to just, you know have my stuff set up a certain way and so it'll it'll come that way or it'll come a different way I mean I've gotten some new information on something possibly that I may start doing and um 
love was talking to me about it and so that may change some some things i just you know i of course the virgo thing i joke about it however you know it's just understanding my virgo self and i was talking to one of my um triangle um the other day um and she's virgo also and it's just like you know we that whole kicking the door in and all that other kind of stuff like that and forcing stuff and doing this and doing that and i was like i'm just not there any longer you know it's like i can just i, I realized before where spirit would keep me active doing something way over here and then you know boom now do this and that door opens and it's like i no longer want to do that I no longer want to waste my energy and a year and a half two years three years something like that and then just because i wasn't able to be present with myself in this moment and be okay with it and so now i'm learning how to do that i'm actually really um, enjoying myself i got a whole thing going on <laughs> so i do uh, really enjoy myself and um i've been looking at my workout to see like Am I pressuring myself or is it something else I can do or a different way that I could do it? You all know I love, 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 love working out. So um, it'll all come together the way it's supposed to. Let me start walking back home <laughs> so I can get ready for the next part. I try to get started on that other part of my life at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so um, what I was thinking about, I was listening to a new person um, on black magic but oh yeah what i wanted to pass on to you all is books books so for those of you who are interested in studying i know i talked to you all about i was listening to brother panic and i didn't even know what occult meant you know we've been taught that occult is bad and pentagram just all of that other kind of stuff is bad i never went to go look it up and so occult is the hidden and all that is is like the subconscious the spiritual the the unpresent world like you can touch this world it's just a hidden world it doesn't mean anything it's nothing bad or whatever so anyway um he did a live uh, a couple of days ago where he just for six hours ran down all the books so many books and he has so many more so for um if you all go to my playlist um brother panic is in there on the playlist and uh, the one where he did all the books is in there and so at that point um, I am going to filter that playlist because it has things that I just um, listen to or that I just enjoy um, that I enjoy listening to or you know like I'm doing stuff like this where I'm walking around or doing stuff or different things like that or out grocery shopping or whatever and I like to um I like to, you know, just listen to spiritual stuff because um, it just puts me in that zone, that frequency. And like I was saying earlier about surfing. So I just call it frequency because I think about being on the ocean or my stand up paddleboard or when I learn how to surf, I'll be thinking about surfing and I'm just surfing that frequency. And it's like not even being in real life. It's like I'm just surfing along. And so the things that are happening that are going along with the day and stuff like that is just it's just that you know what i'm saying and then it just feels yummy to be in that spiritual place you know just enjoy it to be in that uh that spiritual place and so um from there um yeah the playlist so i'll get that filter down so that people can start using it um, and then um, like the Bobby Hemmett stuff and Sister Barbara. But anyway, there's this new lady. Um, her name is Isis. I can't remember her, the second part of it. Um, however, uh, I was listening to her today and um, let's see. Oh, she was just talking about some cosmic stuff and some different things like that. And some of it I got, a lot of it I didn't get. I got the overall concept and basically that's what she talked about it's like you have to um, understand yourself and it just does no good if you're if you're not there first you know and it's like um, I know at times when something along where I'm studying or or whatever about myself and that like gets too much you know what I'm saying it's just like oh man you know I just feel like uh, you know 
it's like even subconsciously you cannot want to work on yourself and then you'll find yourself getting caught up in outside stuff or different things like that i've noticed that about myself it's like the time when i'm hitting something that i subconsciously don't want to work on and need to work on that's when the phone will start ringing somebody from you know my kids usually or a friend or something like that they'll call and i'll get um distracted by that and it's like no like no distraction it's okay to have interactions it's just not having those distractions so the first thing that i look for is you know what am i what do i need to see about myself what do i need to work on with myself and what am i not wanting to work on and then when i don't catch it which over the past couple of days it took me a second to um to catch it and um love was saying was checking on me it's like okay you all right i'm like yeah i'm good you okay yeah i'm good and that was just a reminder like i said it's like be conscious of handling your own energy and be conscious of doing your own work you know so you're not putting that on anybody anyone else i mean it's okay to spiritually you know have people that are around you who can pick up on your energy and just be like okay you know like what's going on you know um at the same time for me i'm just in the mode where i just want to do um stuff myself you know it's like that's all i want to do i just want to do stuff myself i want to understand it myself i want to get it myself i want to feel it myself i want to do everything myself it's like i want the same way that i go and work out three times a day you know and lift the heavy weights and then do the boot camp for cardio and lightweight and then do my run it's like i just want to build myself up i want to build my strength up i want to have it to where i can handle everything myself like it's only one thing sitting in uh mama universe's lap and i know i can't handle that so i'm not even thinking about handling that <laughs> however everything else yeah just handle that stuff spiritually myself so that's what i want to do and that takes you being it takes me being conscious of myself and it's like when you look and you see that it's other things going on outside of yourself then for me you know like people talk about triggers and this and that and this and that and i'm just like it's not triggering it's like it's a call for you spiritually to be ta paying attention to yourself and doing spiritually what you need to do to grow and to heal and whatever you know wherever you want to call it mine's is like just live and exist in the frequency that i say that i do instead of dropping in dropping out you know i'm surfing going along then something brings me here that it's like okay well not something brings me i allow myself to drop down and out when i'm when i'm when i feel the frequency shift instead of going in that frequency staying in mind and just being aware of it Ooh, that's a huge spider web that spider's like man it's gonna catch everything let's see it seems like it's up high enough so let's stay up high enough <laughs> so I can walk under. It's like double and a half me in the air. And it's going all the way across the whole street. I'm like, damn, okay. What what are you actually catching? <laughs> and a big ass spider comes out of somewhere. Anyway, um, so yeah, just doing the spiritual work on myself and walking through the things that I need to walk through and understand the things I need to understand and like for me oh I know I was going to talk about her the new lady Isis so the cosmic stuff and different things she's talking about it's like you know what okay I don't get that part of that you know I mean I just like not investing in a bunch of stuff I can't prove uh, it's more like hey it's just individual stuff that people are feeling and that's basically what she said she's like i feel this i've seen this had this experience had this dream and i'm on my path 100 percent. and when she talks she talks exactly like that which i do like because it's like it's so important to understand yourself and be on your journey about your way and not caring that other people get it 
or understand it or know it or even with me saying about proving it it's not mine it's not my stuff it's like my understanding of myself and my spiritual experiences that I have that's what I'm walking on now that's what I talk about now on my YouTube so it's just so important I love when I hear people say that and when they circle all the way around in their interviews it's always like you have to understand yourself first it's like no getting yourself off the hook it's like people would just get involved in any and everything else they'll spend their time blaming other people other things all the stuff like that yada 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 and they never look at themselves rarely look at themselves you know and it's like you're the common denominator in all of this situation so is you is you what did you bring into your life what did you allow to come into your life why did why did it because you should even have noticed it. this stuff that I don't even notice because I'm not on that frequency so why would, were you on that frequency for it to happen you know and then the other side of it is it's like you can't be God and a victim at the same time that's like my big thing that I hear the one thing that I would ask the people that I listen to spiritually or that I listen out for or that I listen halfway about it's like you can't be God and a victim at the same time you know and it just to me doesn't go along with each other it's like I'm okay with the fact that you know it's stuff about myself that I don't know or that I don't understand or that I don't get I'm just not in that whole victim mentality where something's gonna get you or uh, I mean, come on, I'd rather just something, you know, freaking get me and get it over with than to keep talking about it all the time. It's like, I just can't rock with that victim mentality. It's like either you have what it takes for your world to be what you say it is and for better or whatever, and you understand life, which you have no control over, and or you're, you know, you're a victim. And I'm talking about on the spiritual realm, because it's just like... Yeah, it's just like, man, stop. It's like, listen to what you're saying. You're powerful. You're this, you're that. You know this, you're that. It's like, even when they get so excited about something else, you know, Karen or Ken wrote this book. Karen or Ken did this, or they took this from us, or someone hid something, or took something, or did something. Someone's going to get us. Someone's fighting us. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, stop. No one's doing nothing. You're not important like that. And if something could do something to you, just think about yourself. If you had the ability to, right now, walk up to someone, you know they have a book sack with a million dollars in it, and you just can snatch it out their hand like taking candy from a baby. When you just do it and get it over with and go in and live, basically what you're telling us is this, some being has this power and that they're just standing there like they're waiting to jump in for double dutch jump rope <laughs> and take your million dollars from you it's stupid it's just stupid just i gotta call a spade a spade it doesn't make no damn sense you need to go back and do some more research on that because nobody is nobody is and then if they are you know if they are say that there is some kind of being that's just waiting and it's on some kind of timeline that it can come get you the fact that it can come get you it's over with. You might as well do whatever you want to do. Cheat on your wife, leave your kids and family, quit your job, travel the world, eat what you want, turn into my 600 pound life, have 10 women or 10 men if you want to. I mean, whatever kind of things you can think of, you might as well go get them because if at the end of the day, it's going to happen anyway, that something outside of yourself, stronger than yourself, bigger than yourself, better than yourself, no matter how much spiritual stuff that you understand, you're still going to be got. See, it just, to me, it just, it makes zero sense. And I'm, like I said, I'm not in those levels where they talk about collective and we need to be of one mind and this, I'm not, I'm not there. And I don't even want to be there. I'm just like, look, you can't even handle your own self. You can't. So why are you even expecting anyone to be collective or whatever? Now you're hit in life, you know, it's like, it's so much stuff going on and that people don't know about but people just know you on youtube or instagram or whatever and you're portraying this way about yourself not even if you're consciously portraying one way or whatever people don't know the shit that's going on in your home 
So, and if they did, you know, they wouldn't be following you or you wouldn't have the um, pull or whatever that you have on them or whatever. They wouldn't believe it. But you're talking from that space of them not knowing that you got shit going on in your life that you can't even in one second. It's like baby, baby food and you can't even handle it. But you're on YouTube or social media and you got this one thing right and you're beating the band about that. And collective needs to do this and unity and this and that man it's just about yourself i just see everything as people not wanting to do the work on themselves that's all i see it is it's nothing else to me it's nothing else to me and when you do the work on yourself then you carry yourself a certain way you know it's like for me it's like it's not no one's coming to fight me hurt me take me steal me do this do that if they could like i said i wouldn't even be invested in the spiritual life you know it has to be a point where life is just life you know like now, it just seems like people are even afraid to die. I mean, when I was growing up, it's just like everybody talked about going to heaven. It was such a great place. And, you know, even with people having sorrow, it's like within New Orleans when they have the um, the second line or whenever they're celebrating somebody passing away. And now it's just like if someone passes away, it's like the end of the world. And I'm just like, wait a minute. I thought passing away was a good thing. You know, you're going someplace great, you know everything's good and now it's like it's no death anymore it's someone did it to you and I'm just like man you're just giving people all of this power people who are sitting up in their own house and if you go to their own house their house is dirty <laughs> their cable bills behind their family doesn't want to rock with them they get on everyone's nerves, and you're giving that person all that power. I mean, when they go to these people's houses who do stuff like that, it's like, man, what psycho lived here? You're giving psycho a bad name. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to believe like that. It's like you'll do anything to believe like that versus just stopping and taking the time and investing yourself and working on yourself. That's my whole big thing. All those things may be. However, the excitement is near like an orgasmic excitement when people are talking about, spiritual people are talking about, oh, well, this and that, and this book, and they took this and did that. Oh, man, that's what they were talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're talking about. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Just invest in yourself and work on yourself and everything else will come together. All right, I'm done. Onus. <laughs>